Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got some heat in the seven day forecast, but if you want to escape the heat, great place to be if you're going to be out and about is towards the mountains. Higher elevations are definitely the coast looking pretty good this weekend with more sunshine. Our trough is moving off to the north and northeast, but notice this area, this bubble of hot temperatures, that is what's going to be moving into the area it looks like for the weekend and also into next week. We're going to have some uh, plenty of heat, at least in the forecast, and that will continue to build into next week. Our forecast for the coast, lows will generally be in the 50s and highs generally in the 60s and 70s for Saturday. We have that north and northwest wind 10 to 30 miles per hour this evening, diminishing and then kicking back up again for tomorrow. Moving inland, the West Valleys, it'll be a cool start with temperatures in the 40s and 50s overall. Highs for Saturday in the 80s and possibly some low 90s. Grants Pass at 57 and 90. I have 52 and 88 for Ashland, 49 and 92 for Wairika. And for the Cascades East, another cool start. Lows in the 30s and 40s. Highs tomorrow, 70s and 80s. Cooler up towards Crater Lake at 41 and 64. Doesn't matter. You'll still need the sunscreen. Stay hydrated. Uh, take plenty of breaks, especially coming up in the seven day forecast. Check this out for the Rogue Valley in the 90s to possibly even low 100s next week. Again, we've got plenty of sunshine. At times there may be some clouds moving in or at least passing through. Your temperatures for lows so will start out cool for Saturday morning and then we start to moderate into the 50s and then maybe even to the 60s for lows. Klamath Basin, you'll have some cool starts, highs in the 80s, then potentially into the 90s, especially by next week. And again, you can see plenty of sunshine in the seven day forecast. Plenty of sunshine for you, Mount Shasta City. We have highs in the 80s becoming 90s. Lows will be in the 40s and 50s for the most part. We're looking at also sunshine for the coast. Now, at times, there could be some late night morning areas of patchy low clouds or fog. But with the Chetco effect, that's an offshore flow. And that's especially uh, for Brookings and the Harbor area, where I have, generally speaking, highs in the 60s and 70s. But some areas under this Chetco effect could be much warmer, especially late this weekend into early next week.